Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. If you watched my last packing video, you probably recognize this room a lot and we are back because we are back. So we are unpacking my bag from Portugal. I just got back last night after spending about just under a month living in the town of Cascais in Portugal, which is about 45 minutes west of Lisbon. It was a really interesting time. I had lots of fun. I really enjoyed the country of Portugal. I was doing a volunteer experience with World Packers. If you're unfamiliar with the platform, it provides volunteer experiences where you can exchange your time and your energy for accommodations. So I got to stay for free for a month in Portugal, which is pretty sweet. I'm going to leave a link in the description below if you want to learn more about what World Packers is. But before we get started, I need you to subscribe to my channel. Let's get unpacking to see what the heck did I actually bring to Portugal? If you haven't watched my Portugal packing video, you can do so up here. And we're gonna kind of dive into what items were really useful for this time of year, which was mid-November to mid-December. So keep that in mind because it wasn't summertime. So let's get going. First, we're gonna unpack my carry-on suitcase. For this trip, I did carry-on only, so I've got my Samsung four-wheeler suitcase that has come to me with Europe twice now, and I love it. I love that it locks at the top, which was really helpful in the hostel room. And fits a ton. Let's dive in. I did bring two pairs of these Lululemon shorts. I did wear both, but I probably could have gotten away with one. The weather was not warm. This was the biggest thing, is I wish I would have brought not my romper. This is the romper I should have never brought. Look how big that is. That totally could have been another sweat, bleh, another sweater or pair of jeans. And it's still damp, but it like never dried there. I'm pretty sure it's a linen material, but it just never dried. I'd put it out in the sun when it would be sunny and then it would get damp again and then I just totally regret bringing this. I could have done with just one pair of shorts and probably would have just taken my black pair. So this was a no. This um, fleece, which is actually from Simone's, was fantastic, very colorful. So maybe I would buy a muted color if I'm to buy one ever in the future, but it kept me super warm. I love that it had a pocket. So, you know, you're always carrying like your cell phone, your key, and I slept in it ev almost every night and also having like a turtleneck keep my throat warm. warm was good. This is a shirt my mom made that I never really ended up wearing. So again, I wish I had like a longer layer. I probably didn't need to bring two t-shirts and I could have brought one. These maybe jeans have been my trusted jeans through and through, 100%. Loved bringing them. They are more of a loose pair when I wash them, they're tight. And then by the end, they're like super baggy but um, they can now go in the dryer, which makes it really easy when doing all my laundry together. I did bring also my leather black belt that I got from Florence, so I'm glad I brought that as well for my jeans. Warm thermal socks was a must have. <laughs> I loved, I don't think I ever wrote once in my notebook. That being said, I would still bring it next time because it's helpful to have paper just need be. The Align Lululemon crop top, yes, yes, yes. I have definitely linked this below. It is my new favorite travel top. So I brought one in this olive green yellowish color and then one in black. I love it because it's a bra and a tank top. One packing cube is really handy because I kept my intimates in it, so I brought socks. I also bring reusable menstrual pads, which I always suggest bringing because just in case you're not able to access the kind of um, feminine products you need, it's variety of underwear. Women, you know what I'm talking about. Variety of socks. I'm glad I brought a packing cube because it kept those small items when on the shelf I had in the room nice and clean. This dress, I never ended up wearing it. It's hard to know if I regret bringing it because when I did laundry days, it was great because it was like one outfit so I could wash the rest of my clothes. I don't regret bringing it. It could have been better layered. I think it was an okay. This long sleeve tank top from Lululemon was fantastic because it's a sweat wicking style top and I could layer it really well. And I loved having white because it just made all the black I brought feel a little bit brighter. This bag was really helpful for laundry, but these shoes from Native, I think I've talked about them so much. They're so disgusting. I'm actually realizing how bad I should wash them. Sports bra, don't regret bringing this. This is a Lululemon energy bra. It's so great, so simple. Black, yes. 
rain jacket. Surprisingly, didn't wear this as much as I thought I would, but must have for Portugal. Basically, I would say like November onward. I want to say maybe even October. Um, I prefer a rain jacket over an umbrella because I feel like umbrellas is just one thing to handle. Whereas this you can even use like over your backpack when you're on a day trip. This is a Lululemon. Black long style rain jacket, long I suggest too, because long I suggest too, because it covers your booty. I don't regret bringing that. All right, we're unpacking the second half of my suitcase here, which is the zippered part. So in this top zipper, I actually would keep my passport in here normally. This top part of my suitcase, which is a little bit more organized, but still like a chaotic mess. Let's see if I can do it like this. Look at this, look at that. Ball cap was handy, not for sun, but just on those days where my hair was like not fresh. Um, I was happy I brought this and packed it, but everyone kept saying, I didn't even recognize you with a hat on, Anna. I don't know, do I look that different? Comment below. If I had my hat on and like a ponytail, do I really look that different? I know, I love a good ball cap. This tank top, I was super excited about wearing, thought I would layer it. I just got it from a thrift store here in Calgary before I left. I never wore it, like maybe once. So I would use it as a layering top, but I regret bringing this because it's actually quite thick and I probably could have brought a sweater instead. Bathing suit, don't regret. One was plenty. I used it under my wetsuit when I went surfing. It's pretty cool because this volunteer experience included a free surf lesson. So I'm really proud of myself, but then I got banged in the head with a surfboard and I uh, was kind of discouraged to continue after that. <laughs> this is a um, one of those really tiny shopping bags that can fold into this pocket, 100% bringing. I also brought an orange tote bag, I'll show you in a second, but having these two for groceries, for you wanna come down to the hostel to the common space and you just need a little bag. I ended up using it as my coming home laundry bag. So we've got this long sleeve mountain top. It's from Eddie Bauer. Uh, this was a great sleeping top. I'm someone who loves to sleep in layers and I sleep with socks on. So comment below, are you a sock wear to bed? Cause I know there's a group of us, but not many. Turtleneck, oh, so good, so good. It's actually a mock neck. It's inside out. We're going straight from the laundry pile showing you folks. This is real deal. And I almost wish I had a second one. Like it was such a good layering piece and because it had a little bit of a neck like this one, it felt nice and warm and provided me that stronger layer I felt I needed. Socks, don't regret bringing those. These are my simple jogger pants. Don't regret bringing those. They're like the best pajama pant. But yes, as like another sweat pant, they're fantastic as well. Here's that other pair of black shorts. It wasn't warm enough for shorts, ever. I never wore shorts out. Another shoe bag, which I use as a laundry bag when hanging in my hostel room. My white camper sneakers. Oh, and look, more dirty laundry. <laughs> a little packing hack is pack your underwear inside your shoe to save space. Don't regret bringing these, they need another wash again. This little jewelry bag. I ended up keeping this in my suitcase the whole time, but I did wear a variety of jewelry. I really only needed to bring like, I, I wore my necklaces, but I never wore these earrings. So I think just a small pair of hoops and this big pair of hoops, those below the best I can. And then my rings, I wore every day. What's in here? Ah, this is actually my first aid kit. We ended up using some band-aids, some uh, over-the-counter, pain medication for menstrual cramps, and then some polysporin as well. So I think it's important to have. Must have is this travel towel. With my volunteer experience, I was allowed towels, so I didn't really need to bring it, but it was handy going, um, how can I say this? Like, it's such a quick dry towel. It's microfiber, but it's not staticky. I absolutely love it. I've linked it below, it's by Pack Towel. Yeah. This was kind of my electronics bag. It was just more like an everything bag. We got a tampon, extra charging cord. That was great to bring. Again, I shouldn't have brought the headlamp. I used it once just when I was sewing those pants back together, so I didn't actually need it. We've got an extra memory card. This was always handy to have. And my tripod! So I use the Sony SV-1 camera and this is the little, it comes with the vlogger creator kit. So instead of using my boxes, we can get a proper filming happening. 
I did bring reusable cutlery and straw, but because I did most of my cooking actually in the hostel kitchen where they have like stainless steel um, utensils, I never ended up using these or the straw, I think because I wasn't eating out as much, I would still bring on the next trip. So that's the suitcase, finito. Now let's go through my toiletry case. Now the thing with my toiletries is I try to keep it as small as possible. And I did a really good job and I loved the toiletry case that I brought this time. I was experimenting with a toiletry case that my mom had and I borrowed from her and I'm stoked on it and probably will steal it for the next trip. The toiletry case I took from my mom was this Eagle Creek one. It has a hanging doodad. So in the shower room, again, there was no shelves. There's like nowhere to put your soap. I don't understand why they create hostel showers like this, but I would hang this and it was easier because I would leave the rest of my toiletries in the room and just put my shampoo and body wash and razor and whatever I needed there. And it made it for easier showering. So when it came to my toiletries, I loved everything I brought. I brought toothpaste tablets. Those were amazing and they were 60 tablets. So it lasted my trip perfectly, except I did end up buying, I don't even know what this says, some toothpaste at the airport because I knew I wanted to brush my teeth on my long flight back. So I guess it was like one tablet short, but I also know that one girl in my room, Gigi, stole a toothpaste tablet. So if she didn't take that one, I would have been fine, but that's all good. Deodorant, yes, was a must. Facial cream, super important. Felt like I got to keep good moisture. Glasses case necessary. I kept my glasses and my contacts in here. I did bring a full, like I brought a full contact lens solution. I had no trouble getting through security with it. He just said that he had to do an extra swap, but I was allowed to come through with like this much liquid, but I ended up using it on my whole trip. For makeup, I had everything I needed. So this super goop setting or super goop powder was fantastic, darling, because it's so easy. It's like one, it's a brush and then the powder is beneath and it's got SPF in it, so it was great. I also loved the Ilia um, Super Serum SPF foundation, I guess it's called. It was a little bit dark for when I started, but my mom said I was tanned coming home, so I feel like I did get some color. The milk stick, again, is so amazing. I have the cream and the bronzer was great. I had just this baby eyebrow brush, my, oh my God, words. Eyelash curler, um, little eyebrow brush again, found our concealer. And then the only brush I brought was for like bronzer. And sometimes I use it just like, I just use that on my eyelids too. Just like this. And then I brought one lipstick, which can also be used as blush. And then I had eye drops with me. It weren't super necessary, but sometimes it was just nice, especially since I'm a contact lens wearer at the end of the day. Towards the end, I had to buy nose spray and an ear drop thing. It's like olive oil for your ear. It was weird. I thought I would use all my setting spray while I was there, but not every day I was wearing makeup. I ended up buying this serum because folks, <laughs> in my backing video, I talked about how I'd never bring conditioner and I'm gonna make sure I bring conditioner. So I went out and bought, I bought a bottle of conditioner. I made room for it in my liquids bag. And then what do I do? I arrive in Portugal and um, what does it say? Shampoo. I bought shampoo, more shampoo. I had shampoo already. So anyway, I met a girl and she used to be a hairdresser. And she said that she recommended instead of actually a conditioner to buy a serum. So I ended up buying the chlorine repairing, I don't even know what that word is in English, and hyaluronic acid um, serum. I'm not a huge fan of it. I think I'm still a conditioner girl, but it did help um, brush my hair through. So we just used that when it was wet. And I brought two makeup remover containers. This is the Clinique um, makeup remover. And I didn't even use like a full one. So it tells me that maybe this is like two months worth for my next trip. Eye cream was so nice because some mornings I woke up so puffy eyed from just not good hostel sleep. My shampoo bar also lasted me. This is the shampoo bar from Super Zero. You can get a discount code below in my description. This shampoo bar also lasted me over a month. So that's really great to see. I think this would last me about three months, which it did in my spring trip. And I'm a, I'm a body bar kind of girl too. So I had this soap and again, I didn't even, I didn't even use it up in one month. 
That being said, I'm not someone who showers every day. If you think that's gross, I don't care. Other things I brought was my baby hairbrush, which was so handy. I love the small use. And in here, we just had some Q-tips and extra hair elastics. And then in here we had, um, I would usually keep my razor and my floss in here. So this was really great because on the shelf I actually had in the hostel room, it was nice. I could just keep this. I had to keep my glasses on the side. But otherwise, it was like perfect. I don't regret bringing anything. Of course, I brought a toothbrush. I just brought a non-electric one. I'm also a fan of the tongue scraper. Anyway. I also feel really lucky that I was in a room with other females because I was doing this volunteer experience. So there was someone who would like hairspray. And there was often things left over. And I think that's something about hostel is... If you're staying somewhere for a longer period of time, you can often make friends and share products. Obviously not things that like you're both dipping your fingers into because that's gnarly. But also the hostel had hair dryers that we could use. So that was really great. So I didn't really feel like I missed anything. Kudos to me. We still have my backpack to unpack. So we're gonna kind of do a rough unpacking of my backpack. I actually did buy clothes in Portugal. I bought what we like to call an old man sweater. I bought this sweater from Humanis, which is a thrift shop. Three euros, it was pretty dang good, and it was such a nice extra layer because I was always cold every night. I love these pants. They are a bit bright in color, so I did not need to make sure I had a lot of neutral tops. The other Align crop top I had in black, yes, must have, want this in every color. Brought this oversized t-shirt, which was great for over the shorts, and probably was the only t-shirt I needed and wish I brought like maybe a, a nicer t-shirt. My second tote bag was fantastic to use. I actually used this more as like an office bag when I was in the hostel. So I would keep my computer, my charger, my headphones, um, and usually gum <laughs> inside here. More socks. I loved all the winter socks I brought. This sweater was great too. I bought this from a thrift shop just before we left. It's inside out right now. But anyway, it was great for layering because it is a bit thinner. I bought this scarf quickly before I left. I almost wore it every day to keep my neck warm and I love it. Toque must have always on the plane ride home, over the eyes, bedtime when it was cold at night. People were making fun of me because they were like, first of all, what's a toque? If you're not from Canada, a toque is a beanie. Canada. Canada, nice. But it's a toque, it's not a beanie. <laughs> this bag I bought from Ikea right before I left and I loved it because it was actually a really great, it kind of became my electronics bag, but I liked it because just in case things were getting damp or wet or something were to leak, it was fantastic to have. Power bank, didn't use it a ton because I, I wasn't like leaving for many day trips, but it was great that it had dual plug. And when I went to Porto for a day, um, it was really great. Always bringing a second battery for this camera. Other random things, we had my laptop. It's inside my backpack, but I just couldn't find my case when we started. My laptop, I don't regret not bringing my laptop stand and keyboard this trip. I was debating if I would miss it because I was doing so much work, but I don't. And my little invention of Velcro and my hard drive, my hard drive's linked below too. Laptop, don't regret bringing that. It's like my, it's like my baby, it's like my child. My best friend traveling. <laughs> this was the little charger bag. Oh, and another sock. I would keep inside here my European charger, which is so nice to have, so I don't have to do another converter. <laughs> Pens, I used one once. This was my, oh, there's my toothbrush. <laughs> I'm back home using my, my electric one, so. But a toothbrush holder is a must have, because sometimes your toothbrush just like falls. Hostel floors aren't the cleanest, folks. Stasher bags, must have too. I brought three with me, people were giving them many compliments. They were so great when I would cook dinner and I would actually use them as like a Tupperware, which is a bit weird because they're flimsy, but it was nice to be able to keep extra food or you opened up your tofu or your cheese. Highly recommend stasher bags. And that was about it. This is Osprey Ophelia 26 liter um, backpack. I loved it for day trips. I went up to Porto and only brought this and it was amazing. So still super happy with this backpack. 26 liter is like a perfect under the seat backpack and it fit my water bottle great on the side. Still in love with it, baby. The last piece of um, packing that we're gonna chat about is me, Sunny pack. This funny pack I got for a dollar, a buck. 
at a garage sale some time ago, so I wish I could link it below for you, but I have linked below the Lululemon Everywhere belt bag, which is amazing. I did bring my Ray-Ban sunglasses. I know it's a risk to take a more expensive pair of sunglasses, but I find I'm really conscious about where they are. Wireless headphones, but these Jabra's are a game changer on airplane just to cut out even the airplane noise. We have my little leather. I got all my European coins left. Now I have to clean up this pile. But anyway, inside here, I would often just keep like my wallet. It was so easy to grab things. I would keep also my key card um, and also Metro Pass inside this front. Always got snacks in here as well because I'm so congested. Kleenexes. We also have the old school headphones in my little Tupperware. My wallet, this is it. Keep it simple. Charging cord. Vaseline, the best lip chap ever. Of course, some hand sanitizer. Anyway, a fanny pack is a must have. <sighs> I feel like that was a tornado of reviewing what was in my bag in Portugal. Basically to sum it up, if you're going to Portugal in like November and December, bring layers and somehow fit in those chunky sweaters that keep you warm because you're gonna want it because it's damp and like nothing dries. But if you like this video, please subscribe to my channel, like and comment below what was your favorite part. Thanks for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed this and enjoyed the Portugal content. Have a great rest of your day wherever you are. Ciao for now, see you soon. Have a good one. Should I wish I brought? Should I wish I brought? I don't think that makes sense. I wish you could see it better. Often make a friends, make do you know there's strawberry and like watermelon flavored halls now? So I wish I would have, I wish I would have kept home. This is what happens.